I also, and this is going to be a little bit surprising to you, I also occasionally will stick something in here which is black. Now the idea of black is being a color, you know, is offensive to some people, but I don't really quite understand that. It certainly is a, a color, uh, and I guess you'd say it certainly is a pure color. You know, it's just the purest form of gray, I guess, but it's, it's very obviously a identifiable color in your palette. Now, you see that's getting a little bit gray there, and that's all right. You know, you can have some colors doing that. You don't have to have 100% pure color. And I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying I want you to know you can. You know, it, it's predominantly about contrast of pure color, but it does not have to be 100% about pure color. That could be pretty boring painting, too. We have to trust our eye more than we do. You know, we've, we've been living a long time, some of us, and we, we learn to, to make decisions based on our acquired taste. We don't buy furniture. We don't buy hardly anything in our lives with a color chart. We look at it and say, do I like it? If we do, we buy it. So I think we want to do the same thing in our painting. You say, I think it would look nice to have this color right there. You know, and it's always a guess. You know, there's no, there's no guarantees about this. You say, I think that'll look good. So you, you try it. And sometimes you're right. It's be pretty wild, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes yellow will will start to mix with things, or it just gets a little too transparent. I'll add a bit of white to it, just to give it a little more strength. 